visual with a casualty, and he wants to come back to the aircraft. Okay, you clear all around, you have your height? Yep. Okay, okay, bye. Bye. I'm at Asset Cone. I've just had some bloke run up to me saying there's a couple of people trapped in a rock out at sea. I'm, I'm online with someone. Hold on, hold on. Can talk to the Hello. I can see your location. Is it directly offshore from where you are? It's the west side of the coast. They're probably about 30 metres from safety on the beach. 30 metres offshore? Yeah. Waving quite distressed. They can't get off the rock. They're surrounded by waves. The shore dump is too strong to risk a lifeboat straight in there. Forward by the front. The winch and out. Right only now. Right. Three. I'm going to be down, watch, I can feed up my staff here, steady, good position. He's at a safe height. He's pointed at someone. You can see her. In the water. Can't take you too far away, mate. Steady. Lock sight. Lock sight. Has he got her? No. He's visual with a casualty, and he wants to come back to the aircraft. Okay, you clear all around. Do you have your height? Yep. Okay, okay, bye. Bye. It was pretty much dark by this point and I've got a torch in a black cave and it's just me walking towards what I think is the casualty. It just fills you with mixed emotions of hope and of fear and of psychological preparation of what medical care you might have to deliver. I could see as I got closer there was no movement, there was no shivering, there was no signs of life. Which one is in the cave with a casualty? She was shaking, freezing cold, and was finding it really, really hard to stand. She's delirious with hypothermia. Her knees, her elbows, her shoulders were all lacerated. She's alive, but she's on the edge of death. <laughs> 